I'm Dump Truck DS. Welcome back to Mapping for Quake. This is a continuation of our Progs Dump series. If you haven't seen the original episodes, uh, the other episodes, go back and check out the playlist. Right now, we're talking about the new release. It's version 1.1.2, and there's just a bunch of bug fixes in this, a couple other things that we'll cover in this video. But the big news is we have a new sample map called PD. Uh, lightning and so this shows off the lightning trail entities in a little bit more detail and those are from the dissolution of eternity which is basically mission pack 2 of quake and I'm really proud to say that just this sample map alone uses that those entities in much more detail than the original mission pack did so it's kind of cool we took this entity and you can use it for decoration or traps or what have you. There's actually a really big bug fix in this one and I start off the video with this, so here we go. All right, Progs Dump 112 has been released. One of the biggest bug fixes is the breakable bug that we showed in a video uh, earlier in the series. And so if you recall correctly, when I shot these things, they were kind of floating in midair sometimes. Well, IW did some code magic and um, was able to fix that and unfortunately I can't really show it off but uh, let's see if I can get it to do it here sometimes if something lands on another piece there we go there we go now watch this oh it's magical uh, IW thank you so much for doing that so anyway progs dump breakables are fixed thanks to IW so what this map shows off is uh, the L trail or lightning trail entities and I've got three different configurations this first thing is sort of like a obstacle course thing and there's four entities that are firing in um, you know at intervals here so it's pretty simple to set this up but you'll notice the light kind of flashes on and off that took me a little while to figure out without doing some coding um, and I'll show you how those worked in the editor you can see with like the location where these land and everything is, is a little tricky. It's not exactly right. I, I messed around with the positioning on all these for a long time and, and what I chose to do was just, you know, uh, from this viewpoint really kind of design it from this viewpoint and then as you get into it, you know, there's a little flaws here. So I'm going to rush through this door and you're going to notice there's a, a door that closes behind me really quickly. And there's a reason for that because the way I had the lights flash on and off, uh, every once in a while would get uh, stuck on and that's not right you want the room to go dark so I anyway I, I couldn't figure it out so I just I punted and had a, a very quick closing door there now that particular one has a beginning a, a relay and then an end these other ones are set up differently in that room so let's hit this guy and uh, let's go over here also showing off the tea baby effect, the uh, spawn explosion effect. And then you just notice the particle effect. That was a uh, miscellaneous particle stream, uh, actually four of them. That's kind of a fun effect. I'm, I'm enjoying using that. So we'll go in here and this is just a lightning trail start and a lightning trail end. They're targeting each other and that just creates a barrier. So we're gonna shoot these guys. Turn that off. Now we have a uh, trap shooter triggered. There are three trap shooters varieties in Prog's Dump. And um, this is just one variety, and this is really for demonstration purposes. It's also a really good uh, example for funk counters. And I'll show you this in a little bit. And you see we have spikes, lasers, lava, rockets, um, uh, grenades, gibs, and uh, vorballs. There's a vorball. <laughs> so, and this is just looping through, um, and I'm able to shut this off with a trigger using that trigger counter, and then it'll start it back up, right? You know, from the beginning again. You can also have it start from where it left off, but this uh, particular setup it has it restart. Anyway, so it's a good example of funk counter. We also have some miscellaneous models with some sprites in there. You've seen those probably before. We're in a uh, trench broom now, and I just want to go over this just as an overview. I'm not going to go in a ton of detail because you have the sample map at your disposal. But the way this first uh, encounter worked out, or this first kind of obstacle course, you have an L trail start, lightning trail start, and it will then um, target the next one in line. 
and it just goes into a chain. And then this final one targets back to the original uh, L trail start. There are, I just use the defaults for how often these things fire. So I believe it's uh, 0.3 seconds. The damage is set at 25. So I kind of just stuck with every, you know, all of the um, defaults. And then um, I will say that in order to have the lightning flash or the light, the lighting flash, I used funk counters. And this was kind of um, actually funk counter and funk on count because they work together. And so this start entity triggered a funk counter and then the funk on counts will trigger the light these two will target this and then switch it off and on so you know take a look at it it's it's kind of it looks really involved but once you kind of figure out how to do it it's just copy and pasting and changing some target names so it's really not that difficult to do this but as i said earlier uh i was uh, had a little kind of snafu because these loop through the uh, the loop they loop through and they're triggering the light on and off. But there's possibility when you exit out. I wanted these to stop, so I had a kill target there, and it would sometimes kill target and leave the light on. So that was kind of one of those things. So I decided to go ahead and put this door just shut really quickly after the player. You know that solved that problem because you couldn't look back and see whether the light was on or off. So just kind of one of those little tricks that you learn over over the years that and uh, obviously I'm sure I could have figured out some way of kill targeting in, in, in a better way so now if you recall I hit a button and uh, let's see so hit this button and it triggers this light uh, L trail start so lightning trail start and that targets this guy so the first beam goes across and the second beam tar targets this kind of central location and then there's the end. So the difference between this is you have a lightning uh, start, you have a relay, another relay, and then hidden kind of over here is your L trail end. So that kind of completes the chain. And so once you target it, it just plays its sequence and that's kind of it. So what I did here is I have a trigger once with health of two and it that lightning trail does damage of 25. So as it goes through, it, uh, it kind of hits this trigger. Again, there's probably better, more elegant ways of doing it, but it was kind of the easiest thing to do, just to trigger once. Then that trigger once is targeting a play T-Baby explode entity, and that's one of my effects entities that we've added to Prog's dump. Let's take a look at these um, miscellaneous particle streams. There's four of them total, and these guys are targeting an info not null. Basically what happens is once these two are finished, these are on a counter. Once the two kind of events are um, done, this will trigger this after a, a kind of a period of time and it kill targets this door, right? This funk wall, it's not a door actually. It's acting as a door, but it's a funk wall. And then it's gonna kill target these, or it's gonna trigger these entities to play a stream and then just one time only. So again, just kind of an overview here and, and you can look at the map and how I set it up. And this is a lot more complicated, This, uh, this, these trap shooters. I misspoke earlier and it's a trap spike shooter actually. There are three varieties of those. You can check them out in the uh, manual. As I mentioned before, you have a trail, you have an end and a start and they're targeting each other to, to, continue, to form this continuous lightning zap kind of barrier. And then of course we have the triggers that um, work with a counter and just shut that off when it's time. It also has the sound, the zapping sound that is killed once you hit the two buttons. I'm gonna do a much more robust video series on funk counters and, and so I'm not gonna really go into too much detail, but in general, once you hit this button, it starts a sequence of all of these shooters right here. They'll loop through and then you can target it and toggle it on and off. So again, take a look at the map and the map source to see how I did that. Uh, but it's definitely something you cannot do in vanilla or if you can do it in vanilla, uh, boy, I would imagine it would take forever to set that up. So that's PD Lightning, just an overview of some of the features. One of the new features in Prog's Dump 1.1.2 are new spawn flags for the different play modes and different skill sets. So basically I have a Vor here or a Shalrath. And over here on the left, we've got not on easy, normal, you know, not on normal, 
not on hard or nightmare. Now that used to read not on hard, but we wanted to make it more clear about what this is doing because really nightmare is hard with some differences with the monsters. Nightmare is kind of weird because it kind of breaks some of the behavior of the monsters. There's also not in deathmatch, and that's always been in, in the regular game, but now we've added not in co-op and not in single player. And it might be a little unintuitive this way, but basically this allows you so much more flexibility in what entities are doing what in what mode. So um, I did not code this. IW uh, was very generous with his time and coded a very complex system. Uh, or it wasn't, it's not a complex system, but it was a lot of work for him to do. Uh, we also have not on hard only and not on nightmare only. And that's because not on hard or nightmare uh, will cover both of those. But if you wanted to be discreet and just, you know, not include something on hard, but included on Nightmare, you could do, and vice versa, all that stuff. But anyways, just wanted to show you these. It's quite a big addition to Prog's Dump, and uh, we are hopefully going to have some really cool co-op features in a future release. I can't really set a date for that. Uh, it's going to require a lot of testing and, and a lot of work. We'll keep you posted on that. That's it for this episode. As always, you can look me up on the Quake Mapping Discord, and thanks for hanging in there. We'll see you in the next video.